What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage and we are back yet again with another episode of What Wheels Fit. Where we're, we go over all different types of wheels, tires, and suspension setups for different vehicles on the market to help you out in your journey to find a new setup for your car. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries and today, since you know we've covered pretty much every other ZQG Elemental P platform Nissan and Infiniti, we thought it was time to talk about the Infiniti G37 Coupe. Before we go ahead and get right into it, don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't already, and check out some of the other videos that we have right here on the Fitment Industries Garage channel. And of course, once you're all done with this video and know what wheels are gonna fit your G37, don't forget to hit up your boys over at fitmentindustries.com. Afterwards, check out all the stuff that we have available for your cars for wheels, tires, and suspension. We really try our best to make this as simple and as straightforward as possible. So picking out wheels for your car is a really big deal, you know, and it's definitely part of your car that you're going to want to get right the first time. So what we're going to do is take a look at some of the G37 sitting in our fitment gallery right now over at fitmentindustries.com and go over what they are running for wheels, tires, and suspension. So what we're going to do with these, we're going to break these down into a few different categories determined by the type of fitment and the modifications needed to get those setups to fit the car. So all that being said, here we go. First, things first these cars run a 5 by 114.3 bolt pattern that's pretty typical with a lot of japanese cars nowadays these cars have a recommended fitment range for an 18 to a 20 inches in diameter for the wheels 8 to 12 inches for the width and an offset landing between a plus 12 and a plus 45 so an absolutely massive range here to dive into so let's do just that we're going to break these down in a few different categories you know Take a look at them. First car of the day. If you're ready or not, here we go. First few cars we're gonna go over are going to be for those who just want an aftermarket wheel, tire, and suspension setup, but don't wanna sacrifice any of the daily drivability or functionality of the car. So these cars will not be anything crazy aggressive, but they'll still look good. So ready or not, here we go with the first car of the day. Let's get started. 2011 with some Rohana RC7 wheels. Now these have a square setup, which means it's the same all around, 19 by nine and a half with a plus 20 offset. Now these wheels are wrapped in some Nanking tires, 245, 35 for the size. And then for the suspension, sitting on some Godspeed Project coilovers. Now all wrapped up, giving this car a nice flush fitment. Next up, we have another 2011, this time with some Adhan LS007s. Now these are a 20 by nine with a plus 30 offset paired with some Nitto NT555 G2s, 255.35 for the tire size. For suspension, we just have it on some lowering springs this time, decided to go with some swift lowering springs. Now again, this is a flush fitment here with no rubbing issues, no fender rolling needed, anything like that. Third car for the day, and to wrap up this first category, we have a 2012 with some Rohana RC26s. Now these are 20 by nine again, and then getting a little more aggressive with that offset, however, with a plus 20 offset. Some Achilles Sport tires, 245, 35, and then sitting on some Eibach lowering springs for the suspension. Compared to the last car, we get a little more of a flush fitment with the help from that offset. And then we dropped a tire size to keep everything nice and neat within the body lines of the car and don't get any weird poking issues or anything like that. Moving along here, we are gonna get into some cars with a little more aggressive fitment. These are going to be cars that are going to require fender rolling here and there, and we'll probably start running a staggered setup for the most part to get the fitment more dialed in. That being said, let's get into the first car of the second category of the day with a 2009 on some niche inverts. Now these are 20 by nine plus 35 offset up front and a 20 by 10 and a half plus 45 in the rear. Now these are rocking some Achilles tires again, 235, 35 and a 275, 35 for the size and then sitting on some stance suspension coilovers. Now, even though this does get wider and more aggressive than the last cars we looked at, still no fender rolling needed with this setup. Next up, we have a 2011 with some ESR RF2s. Now these are 19 by nine and a half plus 22 in the front and a 19 by 10 and a half plus 22 in the rear. 235, 35 and a 255, 35 for the tire size, BF Goodridge tires. And then looking for suspension suspension, we are looking at some BC racing coilovers. Now fenders rolled and the bumper brackets are trimmed on this car to make sure nothing rubbed. To wrap up this category, we have this 2008 with some avant-garde M510s. Now these are 19 by nine and a half plus 15 in the
in the front and a 19 by 11 plus 18 in the rear. 245 40 and a 265 35 for the tire sizes and then sitting on some Megan racing coilovers, fenders rolled and pulled. To wrap up the day, we always like to close out with some of the lowest and some of the widest setups in the gallery for each car that we cover. So we are just gonna kind of lightning round these as like a, not a lot of people are going for a setup like this, but if you are, like we do have those options available. So first up 2011 with some Leon Hardrit Ordens. Now these are 19 by 10 and a half plus six offset all around. So square setup, 235, 35 tire, and then sitting on some airlift performance air suspension. Absolutely gorgeous car. Followed by this 2012 with some Workmeisters 19 by 10 and a half plus 12 in the front and a 19 by 11 plus 12 in the rear 225 35 and a 245 35 just absolutely stretched onto these wheels and then again sitting on some air performance air suspension and then last but certainly not least to close out the day we are going to look at this another 2011 on yet another set of leon hardred ordens 19 by 11 with a zero offset in the front and a 19 by an 11 and a half with a negative six offset in the rear 235 35 and a 245 35 again giving an absolutely massive stretch on these wheels and you guessed it suspension sitting on some airlift performance so there you have it so some solid examples of what you're looking at for your g37 when it comes down to wheels tires and suspension usually 19s are pretty much the go-to something like a nine and a half in the front ten and a half in the rear or you know if you want to do like nine and ten and a half something like that but usually you go up about an inch when you're doing a staggered setup now offset you're landing anywhere between plus 22 plus 35 typically depending on your width but like i said you can check that out all for yourself and the free fitment industries gallery fitmentindustries.com where we pulled all these cars from and that's where we got all the information from it's free to check out use a great tool when you're looking to get some new wheels tire suspension for your car other than that i'm gels from fitment industries thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe let us know what car we should cover down in the comments below peace